Step into a world where time is both a boundary and a gateway, where peculiar abilities manifest in extraordinary ways, and where the line between reality and fantasy blurs. Welcome to the captivating realm of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. But before we embark on this enchanting journey, let's take a moment to uncover the intriguing mind behind this mesmerizing tale. Ransom Riggs, a master weaver of words and imaginations, was born with a penchant for the peculiar. Growing up, he was drawn to the peculiar corners of literature and art, exploring the realms of fantasy, mystery, and the bizarre. It was through his keen eye for the extraordinary and his passion for storytelling that he crafted the magical tapestry that is, Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children. With a background in filmmaking and a deep appreciation for vintage photographs, Riggs wove a narrative like no other. He discovered a treasure trove of old, peculiar photographs, each one a glimpse into a forgotten world. These captivating images became the foundation for his story, guiding him through a labyrinth of peculiarities and secrets. Drawing inspiration from authors who dared to explore the strange and the unknown, Riggs crafted a tale that seamlessly intertwines the ordinary and the extraordinary. He invites us to question our perceptions of reality and discover the hidden wonders that exist just beyond the surface of our mundane lives. Through Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Riggs invites us to embrace our own peculiarities, to celebrate the quirks that make us unique. He reminds us that there is beauty in the unconventional, strength in our differences, and power in the bonds of friendship and love. So, dear reader, prepare to be whisked away on a journey like no other, a journey where peculiar children and their extraordinary abilities will ignite your imagination and leave you yearning for more. Let us delve into the summary of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and unlock the mysteries that lie within its enchanting pages. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children introduces us to Jacob Portman, a 16-year-old boy living in Florida in 2006. Jacob has grown up listening to his grandfather Abraham Portman's enthralling stories about a peculiar house and its extraordinary inhabitants. Abraham's tales feature children with peculiar abilities like levitation, invisibility, and the power to control fire. However, as Jacob grows older, he starts to question the authenticity of these stories, dismissing them as figments of his grandfather's imagination. One fateful day, Jacob receives a frantic phone call from his grandfather, who claims that monsters are coming for him. Troubled by his grandfather's distress, Jacob races to his house but arrives too late. He discovers Abraham gravely injured and sees a menacing, shadowy creature lurking nearby. In his last moments, Abraham urges Jacob to find the loop and seek out Miss Peregrine, the headmistress of the peculiar children. Confused and grieving, Jacob is left with a multitude of unanswered questions and an inexplicable longing for the truth. Determined to unravel the mysteries surrounding his grandfather's life, Jacob convinces his skeptical parents to allow him to travel to the remote Welsh island where Abraham spent his childhood. And so, Jacob embarks on a journey to Cairnholm Island, accompanied by his father. As they arrive, they are greeted by the island's desolate and eerie atmosphere. Jacob explores the island, hoping to uncover traces of the peculiar children and their supposed safe haven. However, all he finds are the ruins of Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children, a dilapidated mansion destroyed during a bombing raid in World War II. Disheartened but not ready to give up, Jacob decides to investigate the ruins. As he ventures inside, he is amazed to discover remnants of the peculiar children's lives, including personal belongings, photographs, and evidence of their peculiar abilities. These discoveries reignite Jacob's belief in the stories he once doubted. As Jacob explores the ruins of Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children, he becomes convinced that the children from his grandfather's stories were real. To his astonishment, he discovers a hidden cave within the house that leads him into a different time loop. Inside the loop, Jacob finds himself transported to September 3, 1940, the day when the house was intact and the peculiar children were alive. Within the loop, 
Jacob encounters Emma Bloom, a peculiar girl with the ability to manipulate fire. Emma explains that Miss Peregrine and the other peculiar children are stuck in a time loop, forced to relive the same day in 1940 to protect themselves from holocausts, malevolent creatures that prey on peculiar children. Emma reveals that the peculiar children are still alive, existing within this time loop, and that Miss Peregrine possesses the power to transform into a peregrine falcon. As Jacob spends time with the peculiar children, he learns about their unique abilities. He meets Millard Nullings, an invisible boy, and Bronwyn Bruntley, a girl with incredible strength. He also encounters Hugh A. Piston, who has a beehive in his stomach, and Enoch O'Connor, who can bring inanimate objects to life. Jacob begins to form friendships with the peculiar children, feeling a sense of belonging among them. However, danger lurks in the form of holocausts and their leaders, the Whites, peculiars who have transformed into monstrous creatures. Jacob witnesses an attack by holocausts and realizes the gravity of the threat they pose to the peculiar children. Determined to protect his newfound friends, Jacob resolves to aid them in their struggle against these malevolent forces. Jacob becomes increasingly involved in the world of the peculiar children and their ongoing battle against the holocausts and whites. He learns that the time loop is carefully maintained by Miss Peregrine, who ensures the safety of her wards by resetting the loop every day at sunset. As Jacob spends more time with the peculiar children, he discovers that he possesses a peculiar ability of his own. He has the power to see and communicate with holocausts, making him a valuable asset in their fight. This revelation further solidifies his place among the peculiar children and deepens his commitment to their cause. Miss Peregrine, the enigmatic headmistress, guides Jacob and the peculiar children, providing them with guidance, protection, and a sense of belonging. Jacob also develops a close relationship with Emma, and the two share a growing affection for each other. However, their peaceful existence within the time loop is shattered when the Whites, led by a powerful and sinister figure known as Mr. Baron, discover their hiding place. The Whites are determined to capture the peculiar children and exploit their abilities for their own dark purposes. In a climactic battle, the peculiar children and Jacob must confront the Whites and defend their home. They employ their peculiar abilities and clever strategies to fight back, but they face immense challenges and sacrifices along the way. Their resilience and unity become paramount as they strive to protect their friends and preserve their way of life. As the battle against the Whites intensifies, Jacob and the peculiar children face a series of obstacles and hardships. They must navigate treacherous landscapes, including a sunken ship and a hidden underground bunker, in their quest for safety and a way to defeat their enemies. Throughout their journey, Jacob discovers more about the history of the peculiar world and the complex dynamics between the different groups. He learns about the existence of the Cindergast, a society of peculiar individuals who have been fighting against the Whites for generations. Jacob realizes that he has become an integral part of this ongoing struggle, with the fate of the peculiar children and their world resting on his shoulders. As the group ventures into Blackpool, a city filled with other peculiar creatures and dangers, they encounter additional allies who join their cause. Together, they forge a stronger alliance and develop strategies to confront the Whites and their holocaust minions. During their battles and pursuits, Jacob's relationship with Emma deepens, and they find solace and strength in each other. Their connection becomes a driving force for Jacob as he confronts his fears, embraces his peculiar abilities, and fights for the safety of his friends. As the battle against the Whites and holocausts reaches its peak, Jacob and the peculiar children face their most significant challenges yet. They venture into the heart of Blackpool, a bustling city filled with peculiar creatures and dangers lurking around every corner. The city presents a unique and perilous environment, testing their courage and resourcefulness. While in Blackpool, the group encounters Miss Wren, another headmistress of a peculiar home, who provides them with guidance and assistance. Miss Wren's home is dedicated to caring for peculiar animals, adding a new layer of fascination to the peculiar world. 
As the peculiar children and their allies press forward, they uncover secrets about the Whites and their sinister plans. They learn that the Whites are not only after the peculiar children's powers but also seek to gain immortality by extracting their souls. The stakes become even higher as they realize the urgent need to stop the Whites' nefarious scheme. During their journey, Jacob's peculiar ability to see and communicate with holocausts becomes crucial in identifying their locations and devising strategies to evade them. His power proves invaluable in navigating the dangerous landscapes and staying one step ahead of their enemies. Amidst the chaos, Jacob and Emma's bond continues to strengthen. Their shared experiences, struggles, and deepening affection for each other provide them with hope and resilience in the face of adversity. Their relationship becomes a source of strength and motivation as they fight to protect their friends and preserve the peculiar world. As Jacob and the peculiar children delve deeper into their mission, they discover an unsettling truth, the Whites are not their only adversaries. There are also holocausts, former peculiars who succumb to their inner darkness and transformed into monstrous creatures. These holocausts relentlessly pursue the peculiar children, posing a constant threat to their safety. To protect themselves, the peculiar children develop strategies and hone their peculiar abilities. They learn to work together, utilizing their unique powers in coordinated efforts against the Whites and Holocausts. Each child's peculiar ability proves to be vital, whether it is Bronwyn's strength, Millard's invisibility, or Enoch's ability to bring inanimate objects to life. As the group faces escalating danger, they find unexpected allies in the Cindergast, a society of peculiars dedicated to combating the Whites. The Cindergast provides assistance and valuable information, further bolstering the peculiar children's fight against their enemies. Throughout their journey, Jacob uncovers secrets about his own lineage, discovering his connection to the peculiar world runs deeper than he could have imagined. This revelation propels him to embrace his role in the battle and embrace his own peculiar abilities fully. The climactic battle between the peculiar children and the Whites unfolds in a dramatic confrontation. The children must summon all their strength, resilience, and unity to overcome the seemingly insurmountable odds. Sacrifices are made, friendships are tested, and alliances are forged in the ultimate struggle for survival. In the midst of the climactic battle between the peculiar children and the Whites, Jacob discovers a vital piece of information. He learns about an ancient prophecy that foretells of a peculiar who possesses the power to control holocausts, a peculiarity that could change the course of the conflict. As Jacob delves deeper into his own abilities, he realizes that he might be the key to fulfilling this prophecy. Guided by the prophecy, Jacob and his peculiar friends launch a daring plan to confront the Whites and their leader, Mr. Baron. They gather their strength and resources, strategizing meticulously to ensure their chances of success. Miss Peregrine, with her wisdom and courage, becomes a pillar of strength for the group, offering guidance and support in their endeavor. The battle itself is a whirlwind of extraordinary abilities and fierce determination. The peculiar children utilize their powers to the fullest extent, combining their strengths to overcome the Whites and Holocausts. Jacob's unique connection to the Holocausts becomes a crucial element, allowing him to influence and control these fearsome creatures. As the battle unfolds, alliances are tested, and sacrifices are made. The peculiar children and their newfound allies confront their fears head-on, facing danger and uncertainty with unwavering resolve. They draw upon their bonds of friendship and family, refusing to let their world be consumed by darkness. In a climactic showdown, Jacob confronts Mr. Baron, the ruthless leader of the Whites, who seeks to exploit the peculiar children for his own gain. The outcome of this confrontation will determine the fate of the peculiar children and the future of their world. In the final battle against the Whites, Jacob and his peculiar friends confront Mr. Baron, the mastermind behind the White operations. The stakes are higher than ever as they fight not only for their own survival but also to protect the future of all peculiars. 
As the battle unfolds, Jacob taps into the full extent of his peculiar abilities, harnessing his power over hologuests to challenge Mr. Baron's control. The clash between the two forces is intense, with Jacob's determination and resourcefulness matched by Mr. Baron's cunning and malevolence. Amidst the chaos, the peculiar children exhibit incredible bravery and unity. Each child plays a vital role in the fight, utilizing their unique powers to overcome obstacles and support one another. Emma's control over fire, Millard's invisibility, Bronwyn's strength, and Enoch's ability to bring inanimate objects to life all contribute to the battle's intensity. Throughout the struggle, Jacob realizes the depth of his connection with his peculiar friends. Their unwavering trust and support inspire him to push his limits and tap into his true potential. Together, they embody the power of unity and resilience in the face of adversity. As the battle reaches its climax, the peculiar children and their allies gain the upper hand. They outsmart and overpower the whites, forcing Mr. Baron into a precarious position. However, victory comes at a price, as some of the peculiar children make sacrifices to ensure the safety of their loved ones and the future of the peculiar world. In the aftermath of the battle, the peculiar children reflect on their journey and the challenges they've overcome. They find solace in their newfound strength and the knowledge that they have safeguarded their community from the grasp of the whites. Their bonds have been strengthened, and their individual and collective growth as peculiars has been profound. Following the intense battle, Jacob and the peculiar children emerge victorious, having defeated the whites and secured the safety of their world. They gather together, relieved but also aware of the challenges that still lie ahead. With the threat of the whites eliminated, the peculiar children and their allies work together to rebuild and strengthen their community. They repair the damages caused by the battle, ensuring that Miss Peregrine's home is once again a safe haven for all peculiars. Throughout this process, Jacob reflects on his own transformation. He has evolved from a skeptical outsider to a pivotal member of the peculiar world. He has discovered his purpose and embraced his identity as a peculiar. His journey has not only brought him closer to the peculiar children but also allowed him to discover his own strength and resilience. As time passes, Jacob and Emma's relationship deepens further. They find solace and comfort in each other's presence, understanding the unique challenges they face as peculiars. Their love becomes a beacon of hope and stability amidst the uncertainties of their world. Meanwhile, Miss Peregrine continues to guide and protect her peculiar children, ensuring their safety and nurturing their individual talents. Her wisdom and care serve as a guiding light for the entire community, reminding them of the importance of unity and compassion. As the story concludes, Jacob and the peculiar children face new adventures and mysteries that await them. They embark on a journey to explore other time loops and discover more about the peculiar world's hidden secrets. Together, they navigate uncharted territories, forge new alliances, and uncover the rich history of peculiarity. Through their experiences, the peculiar children come to understand the significance of their differences and the strength that lies within embracing their peculiarities. They learn that their unique abilities are not burdens but gifts that can be used to protect and enrich their lives. And so, as the pages of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children come to a close, we are left with a sense of wonder and admiration for the extraordinary world that Ransom Riggs has crafted. It is a world where peculiarities are celebrated, where bonds of friendship and love transcend time and space. Through the trials and triumphs of Jacob and the peculiar children, we are reminded of the power of unity, resilience, and the beauty found in embracing our differences. If you enjoyed this summary and want to support the channel, we kindly invite you to press the like button and subscribe for more captivating book summaries and engaging content. Thank you for being a part of our literary journey.